It's a new media world out there and folks are finding ways to beat the old Hollywood system. Here to tell us how they're doing it are producers. Russ Parr, he also said, look, I'm a director. I, you know, <laughs> Matty Rich, he also said, I'm a director as well. Uh, and Chris Spencer, we have no idea what he's ever directed. I direct. I call this panel guerrilla marketing, if you will, because you guys are basically saying, you know what? You guys keep saying, no, we don't know how to make it. You said, forget it. I'm going to do it myself. Right. And so, Russ, give us a sense of, of why you said, I'm not wasting my time with your system. There's an audience out here. There's a way to get it done. And I can get my product out to the world. Well, I will say that it is difficult, first off. Uh, but I think one of the big things is that I sat around and I waited for 10 years because I thought, okay, somebody's going to buy my script and they're going to embrace it and they're going to love it. it. It never happened. So I, I sat and I wasted a lot of time. So what I did, I went out and found some suckers. I mean, people that had some interest in, <laughs> in, uh, should talk about your family. Yeah, like my dad, dad, sorry. Uh, but basically, you know, you have to find people that believe in your vision mm -hmm. because if you don't, if they don't believe in it, you're not going to get any money. And, and a lot of times you, you get a lot of actors nowadays that will work with you, which really helps the process because, you know, I can't afford a Lou Gossett Jr. You know, I, I can't afford Isaiah Washington, you know, but, you know, if they'll work with you, if they believe in your script. What Ru Russ is saying is you got to have the tenacity as an independent filmmaker to, to really want to do it. It, it, it outside of Hollywood. And when I did, did uh, Strata Brooklyn when I was a kid, no one could tell me that this was not going to happen. You know, I, I, I did a little small little, uh, little test pilot. Uh, I went on a radio station. I got uh, people who would want to invest in my project. And they did. So you got to believe in yourself. And, and that, once, was, that was the first one. It was the first one. Then now, came the then big came, studio film, The Inkwell. Then came well. the big studio film. And this was like my Hollywood coming out thing. I, I, Inkwell was an amazing project. I had some great, great. talented uh, actors I worked with. But I got to tell you, honestly, the studio system was not really for me. It, because, you know, I would develop projects and develop projects. I think I've developed maybe about 15 movies that nobody has, will ever see right. the, the light of day. Yeah. And then you find yourself in what they call development hell. Mm -hmm. That means that years go by. Okay, that doesn't work. Years go by. That doesn't work. And next thing you know, people are like, what happened to Maddie? I'm still here. Right. Chris, in many ways, same thing. People sit here and say, yeah, I remember Chris Spencer did, he's in some movies and did the Vibe show, mm -hmm. but you've been working, you know, away from the traditional Hollywood system and finding your own way and doing your own thing. You have to. Like, if, if you think about it, there would be no Justin Bieber or Soldier Boy, whether you like them or not, if there was no internet. So this is not, these, this is like a bigger way to audition. Like, you're showing your entire project for the world to see. Mm -hmm. And then now you don't have to wait for this guy in Hollywood or these people in Hollywood to go, I'm not sure, if, do, you, do you think he's good? No, these one million, two million, three million, five million hits have let you know that mm -hmm. this kid is incredible. So then they're jumping on the bandwagon. So now it's weird, it's like before you would, you would, uh, you would you audition, do whatever it takes to get on TV, and then you could blow up, but now you could actually create your own niche, you can get your own camera. They're shooting movies on iPhones, yeah. mm -hmm. okay? And create the vehicle that you figured that you should be a star of and sell it. Is yeah. it important for all of you to have what I call freedom and flexibility? Yeah, I, you know, I'm learning how to take other people's, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'll take advice, but a lot of times when you've written yeah. and directed your own stuff, it's really tough to have somebody come in and go, hey man, you know, you should do it this way, you know, because it's your baby. Mm -hmm. And chances are, because I've invested in all my movies. I have a movie that's out now called 35 and Ticking. That was all my own money. And out of the five films I've made, that's probably the only one I've made money on. So we're not getting rich as independent filmmakers. Mm -hmm. We got to jump through so many hoops mm -hmm. in order to be able to, to put out a product that's good enough quality to get picked up by like TV One or, or BT or whatever. But I, I think the big, the big issue is, is that we, we put ourselves in a, in, a, in a position that allows us to be able to see there are other people out there that have your same vision, that want that opportunity. There are a lot of actors out there, man, mm -hmm. that you know, want an opportunity to work. Mm -hmm. And because there's limited, there's, there's reality series and, and all these other things, it's put a lot of actors out of work. Right. So independent filmmaking is the way a lot of people are going. Uh, you know, I, I've learned to keep my budgets down in, in a respectable level in order to, to turn a profit. Right. But I, listen, I, I'm not eating right now off of it. I'm really not, I'm just keeping it real. Are you, sure? Well, are you, are you sure you're not eating? Well, a little bit. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Well, I think flexibility is important for any business. I, I had to learn at a very young age that you have to be flexible. If somebody's going to give you any kind of money to produce a project, you got to be flexible to op be open to their ideas. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, we are creative people. Sometimes creative people, they want to hold their ideas, mm -hmm. but that's, you, you, you make a movie, you make a TV show for other people to enjoy. Right. So you, I have to hear your point of view, mm -hmm. Roland. I got to hear your point of view and your point of view if you're going to give me the money. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that is what, you know, I've learned as a young filmmaker, you have to let go. And when you let go and you get involved and you get involved, the project becomes so much better.